Hello. <laughs> Yosis. Um, so basically, she is going to apply foundation half of her face, half of her face. How well, I set up my station. Because I'm going to do her makeup after this. So. And we're going to, that's going to be in a separate video. So. Yeah, so go watch that. <laughs> so, so we are going to be doing yeah. the Clinique. Let's see if you can see it. The Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation. And we're going to be doing that on my this side of the face. And we're going to be using the L'Oreal. <gasps> Is this one mine? No, that's mine. That's mine. That's mine. mine. That's yours. Infallible Total Coverage. <laughs> Like that. What is this? Um, foundation. Oh, those are lip shakers. I'll show you how they look. Um, I'll so this says that this is, is a I'm sheer. This is a sheer to moderate coverage foundation. I'm gonna swatch it. And this is a full coverage weightless feel. So we are gonna actually see if this is really a weightless feel. And is this really a medium coverage? Can it be medium coverage foundation? And so let's start. Okay. Can it be? Because I know I've tried it before. I think I've oh. tried this. Why is it not? Oh, you have to shake it. Oh. Have so to I'm going to. I don't know what this is. Okay, at least you're trying to figure out. Wait. Oh, I'm going to have to. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Here. Yeah. Let me just moisten out my beauty sponge. It's still not working. Why does it take forever? Yep, that's why I hate that. That's why I don't use that. <laughs> okay. So Kaylee's trying to figure out that Alenco. If I like it, can I have it? Oh, I found it. Ooh. Alright, so I'm gonna apply it to my hand. Um while she does that, I And I'm gonna it's, this watch. is the Clinique foundation. So we are gonna do this on this side of my face. So did anyone do it? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just look in the mirror when I do this because it's easier. Yeah. Much better. Ooh. Ooh, that's light. That's really light. Oh my god, this is the second time the lady straight matched me. <sighs> it's so light. Oh no. Oh my god. It's really light. So we're not gonna include the color that she is. Cause, I mean, well, this is in this shade stone. But like, I mean, um, we're not gonna include the color of the foundation. Well, it is. It's in. Sh in I know, no, no, I know. I mean, we're not gonna include like in judging, like the color connected to your skin. We're not gonna. Cause that. that's kind of the Clinique lady's fault. She said it looked good, and then I, I was like, okay, you trust it, and they let you down. But do you guys want to see? What the swatches of these look like. Yeah, so she Kaylee's gonna okay, do so some she watches. This so, one right here is as you can this see one. it does match my skin I actually. I kinda like these. You don't fairly know. they're okay. The middle one? It does match my skin fairly well. But um it's just kinda like accentuating my pores on my nose. I don't think you can see it because I have to use it's my computer. Cause my phone's up my I'm gonna put it on. It looks good. What? One of the lips. You could put it on. I'm gonna try and do a it's lip side. It's very. Do you have brushes? <sighs> it seems like something you use a brush for. All right, I guess. Okay, so now that's done. I don't know if it's his beauty blender because I don't normally use this one. This is my old one. But we are gonna now move on to the uh, L'Oreal, and we are gonna see how this one wears. So right now. It's not settling well. It's accentuating my really horrible pores. And accentuating, it's going into my smile lines already. And yeah. So we're just going to go into the next one. And this one is um different. So this one is the L'Oreal Infallible. It really doesn't look like you have anything on, to be honest with you. No, but do you see like, look at the, like... Oh yeah, that is. It's and it's accentuating wrinkles too. I know it's 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 not. It's not good. good. This is I would not recommend this, and it's like making my face look even more oily. I would not recommend this if you are um um oily to combination dry to combination skin because I'm combination. 
I get dry and then I do get oily in like some spots like where this is like really accentuating my pores. So I would not recommend that. So let's try this one. Ooh, this is weird. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so weird. So what? ooh, it's, it's weird. It's dry. It's like sticking in the form. Oh. It seems full coverage. It's very full coverage, Foundation. That's really full coverage. Wow. Oh my god, this is nice. How much is that one? Twelve fifty. How much was the other one? Thirty dollars. <laughs> oh my god, this is so much better. Don't waste your money, y'all. That's a problem. Like they're like, oh, high end brands are always so much better. High end brands always get the hype, but like, really, like high end brands are actually kind of like not as good sometimes. But I really like it. Is not all. Uh, sorry, I'm out of the video. It is just not blending out well. What the one? The first one or second one? Second one is not blending out well. Oh well, that did not work. Do you have makeup wipe? Mm, yeah. Oh, never mind. I got it. Oh, it comes off your skin easily, and it doesn't like. So. Okay, so this side is obviously a full coverage foundation, and it just looks like I'm wearing a mask. It doesn't even, like, it says it's supposed to be light, but it is honestly way, way, way more coverage <laughs> heavier than the sheer coverage. Wait, I want to, you'll kill it. Don't get this on you. Oh, no, not really. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, it's so light it on me. It looks like I have a bruise. Like, look at that. Ah, I have a bruise. Guys, look, I have a bruise. I have a bruise. Oh my god, I use so much product. <laughs> so, I'm not actually loving this. I'm not loving any of them. My favorite, honestly, I love, it's the weirdest one, but I love the wet and wild photo focus, which is the weirdest one. But... Most people don't like it. It's only like six bucks, but it's really good. And the Maybelline fit is good. This is more of a lip stain. It like doesn't feel like it would come off anything. It's very good. It's a matte. But it is hard to apply. So this is my face. Obviously, this side is, well, you can't really tell, but it's in person, it's way more full coverage than the Clinique side. The Clinique side feels light. It feels like I'm wearing almost... Like nothing. This side is very heavy, almost cakey. Like, even though it says that it's air light, it's really not. So don't, if you don't like a fake cakey full coverage foundation, then don't get this. If you like a a sheer to moderate coverage foundation, and it's not cakey, I would recommend this. But this is very sheer coverage. It does settle into your smile line. So. And yeah, it's not the best. So let's see. So all in all, the L'Oreal is definitely more full coverage and it's definitely way cheaper. But it doesn't is and it doesn't accentuate my pores. I don't feel as much as the um Clinique, but it does have, uh, but it does, it gets, feels very cakey. It's harder to blend out. Let's see if it's buildable. Like, mm. oh, it did cover my birthmark. Oh. It is buildable. I'm going to say it's buildable. And yeah. So, Ooh, look at that. It's look okay. With these. But I, Personally, even like it's okay. Like I would. Yeah, I just made a really nice look. look. So I'm gonna try. It. Let's go over the Clinique side. So the Clinique side is very air light. It's a little bit more expensive, but I feel like it's a better formula. It definitely feels nicer on my skin, but it does settle into your lines, like my smile line here, and yeah, and it does not. It very, it's very like accentuates my. I think I just ruined my hand. But this side 
the kind of does the same thing. I'm gonna see which one's first. Uh, Amina, I ruined my hand. Kind of ruined my hand. Kind of ruined my hand. Let me see. <laughs> but it's a good lip look. Honestly, if you have any makeup you don't like, I'll take it. You know. Like, yeah, honestly, this side just looks so cakey in person. It just looks ridiculous. But this Wait, side what? does not look as cakey. Which one? How cakey does that look? Comparing to this side. Which side looks more cakey? Mm, that's a hard decision. This one is definitely more cakey. It feels so. Mm, it doesn't look as... Um, it, they look like they're the same foundation, to be honest with you. But up here is much more brown. Looks like you have a bruise. Right there. You can't really see it in the camera because... Doesn't have very good coloring. Oh yeah, because it's my um natural skin color. But I'm gonna say that this is more cakey. I kind of like this lip look too. So all in all, I it depends. Like it depends on what you like. Well, but anyway, we're about to go wipe this off and redo our face. So let's get started and just go to the next video. Yeah, just like click next. Go to the next video and go to the next video that's like a recent. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye. Cool. We should do like a crazy thumbnail. The next one.